Today I am going to be filming a very realistic what I eat in a day video. I just decided I was going to film this when I woke up a few moments ago, which is why my face is still so puffy. Typically when I film videos like this, I think about what meals I wanna make just because it makes the filming process a lot easier, but I, I don't know, I wanted to do something a little bit more real. Um, I have done absolutely no pre-planning for this video. I haven't gone to the grocery store, so I'm going to just make meals based on what I have in my cabinets and my refrigerator. So we're going to head into the kitchen and start from there. Baby? The first thing I do before I eat anything is drink a ton of water. I will usually drink at least one entire mason jar full of water. This is actually my second glass. I often feel a little bit dehydrated when I first wake up and I'm not the best at drinking water throughout the day. So I find that when I do it first thing in the morning, it's a nice like start to my day. And for all of you guys, if you are watching this and you have not had water today, go drink some. All right, so here is what our fridge looks like. This is the raw footage, and it's giving me a little bit of anxiety. I have not gone grocery shopping for about six days. I think Nick went yesterday and bought himself a couple of things, but otherwise, this is just what has kind of accumulated in the fridge over the course of the last couple of weeks. Nick and I have both been really busy, so it's just very disorganized, but obviously we don't have a shortage of food and I definitely want to use up some of what we have before I go out and buy new food. I don't know what's happening on the top shelf. There's like a lot of condiments and um, salsa and whatnot. I did buy this buttermilk to make some dressing and since we have a lot of it left, I'm thinking that maybe I can make some buttermilk pancakes. So maybe we'll keep that out. Yeah, I'll just start there. I just looked up a bunch of recipes on buttermilk pancakes and I picked one based on the ingredients I had. This one just requires some flour, baking soda, baking powder, sugar, salt, a couple of eggs, of course our buttermilk, and some butter. I found this recipe on the New York Times website, which is typically a source that I trust for good recipes. So I have high expectations and I'm just going to follow the instructions and see how it goes. clean up the kitchen. I'm on my way to an equestrian store in Los Angeles to pick up some riding boots. Some of you guys may not know this, but I grew up riding horses and it's something that I've been wanting to get back into for a really long time. I also have a bunch of family members who are riders. Uh, my mom is from Indiana, so pretty much that side of my family is very like farm oriented. And then my mom's sister who lives in Florida has a tax store. So I was able to get most of what I needed directly from my aunt, which was awesome. And I will link um, her tax store below for any of you guys who maybe do equestrian and live in Florida. I also found a place right outside of LA through one of my Instagram followers and they do equine assisted therapy and they have like a volunteer program. So if you volunteer there, you can ride the horses for free. So I went to do an orientation over there, but 
quickly realized that I needed proper gear. Um, you, you just need like things specifically for going to a barn, honestly, because your clothes and, and everything get really dirty. Plus you need like protective wear if you're gonna be riding the horses. So I did that little orientation and then I decided to wait on actually volunteering so that I had all of the gear that I needed. So maybe I'll show you guys everything when I get home. I got home about five minutes ago. I'm very, very hungry, but I quickly wanted to show you my riding gear for those of you who are interested. Basically, this is everything that I bought. Firstly, I got a helmet. I have never been so excited for a helmet in my entire life. I think that just means that I'm getting older. It's so like sleek looking and it fits so well. And then I got some paddock boots, which are pretty much short boots for everyday riding and you know, being around a barn and everything. And then I got two pairs of pants. They're really stretchy and kind of like leggings, but they do have this almost silicone material on the back. So that helps you stay in your saddle and just have a little bit more control when you are riding. I forgot that my aunt also got me this shirt. And that is the name of her tax store, if you guys are interested. This is what the helmet looks like on. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, but hello. And these are the boots, which I think are so fashionable, considering that paddock boots often are kind of ugly in my opinion. I think Nick was expecting me to go out and buy some kind of like sexy boots, but I really like them. There's my cat judging me as I try all of this on for you. All right, I might have messed my hair up for the rest of the day by trying that on, but I'm going to make a little lunch for myself. I've talked about this before on Instagram and probably in other videos. A lot of times I will eat smaller meals throughout the day with lots of snacks instead of three large meals. It really just depends. So for lunch, I wanna do something simple and fresh, and I think I'm just going to make like a big crudo plate for myself. I don't know if that's what it's called, but a lot of fresh veggies and fruits, and I made some blue cheese dressing with that buttermilk, which is amazing. So I'm going to uh, eat some of that as well. A lot of times when I buy produce, I will wash it and pre-prep it so that it's ready to go. And I also find that it prolongs uh, the life of the vegetables. Um, so these are some carrots and celery. I cut these up at the beginning of the week. So they've been in here for almost a week and they're still doing great. I don't know if you guys can see, but a little secret is that you can add some water and that really helps keep things crisp. And then I have my amazing homemade blue cheese dressing. I've made this in another video, but I will put all of the recipes below. And then I can go into my produce drawer and I'll just pull some things that look good. All right, so I have some oranges some fresh vegetables, I'm going to have some cashews for protein, maybe a little bit of cheese. And I made a very, very similar spread for Nick and myself last night when we were watching a movie and it was super satisfying. So this should be very quick to throw together. So here's what I'm going to have for lunch. It's actually quite large. I don't know if you can tell by the video, but um, we have a lot of just fresh fruits and vegetables, and then I have some nuts, a little bit of cheese. I love eating meals like this, especially with things that are left over in my refrigerator. Um, I like putting together just little snack plates where I can have a little bit of everything. That is a preferred style of eating for me. It may not be something that works for you, but I am a huge fan, so. I'm going to actually edit a video while I eat this. 
And then if I'm still hungry afterwards, I, I can eat some more, but I'll probably be pretty full. It is sometime in the afternoon and I'm taking a little break from work. I'm going to do some stretches and a little bit of exercise in the living room. Nothing too crazy, but I am trying to be active every day. So when I work from home or when I spend most of my time at home, I still try to do something that's active, even if it's just stretching, it just makes me feel so much better. So I'm just wearing some yoga clothes and I have my yoga mat in the living room. A lot of you ask me what my own personal stretching routine is, and I know I've talked about making videos like this a million times. At some point I will get around to it, but in the meantime, I'm going to link some really good stretching videos that I often use, um, like guided stretches, in the description box. making myself some tea. Whew, a little foggy. A few days ago, my neighbor invited me over for dinner tonight. And this is very exciting because I've been in LA for five years and I don't think we've ever been close friends with any of our neighbors. I don't even know if we've lived next to people in the general same age group, but I guess maybe six or seven months ago, um, the people who live next door sold their house and a couple moved in. It's a girl and a guy who are married and the girl's name is Angela. Um, we've started hanging out, we've gone ice skating together and something I really like about this new friendship is that I feel like I can hang out with her and just kind of do whatever. And I have very few friends like that in Los Angeles. Um, so she asked me if I wanted to come eat and watch a movie and I did get some stuff for dessert. There were limited options because they went to a really small uh, kind of grocery store and I just got some citrus fruit and some chocolate and then a little loaf of bread. This is, oh, this bread is so good. So I'm going to make a little citrus fruit salad and then I'm gonna walk over there. That's also nice, being able to walk and hang out. That is very rare in Los Angeles. By the way, after I did my little stretching routine in the living room, I took a shower and exfoliated my whole body and I am feeling so soft underneath of my clothes. I don't know how to say that in a not creepy way, but I, I feel great. Just a quick moment of appreciation for how beautiful this turned out. Look at all of the colors. I'm obsessed. Let me move this out of the way in case you can see in the background. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just go and uh, completely change my outfit. <laughs> this is Angela, and she's making us dinner. What are we having? We're having chili, and it's got... I'm gonna, we're gonna do it again. Do you want me to tell you what's in it? Yeah, tell us what's in it. Okay, so... It's vegan chili. It's vegan chili. We've got some Beyond Meat in there. We've got some chickpeas, kidney beans, corn. We've got black beans. And we've also got some mushrooms as well. It looks really good. Yeah. And sweet potatoes. Oh, and sweet potatoes. Roasted sweet potatoes. Oh, and some green pepper, jalapenos, the usual. Looks really good. So this will make up for all the protein that I didn't eat earlier today. Hi, Leila. Hello. It looks awesome. I also appreciate the fact, I mean, I like having vegan friends because a lot of what I eat is vegan, even though not everything. Yeah. Thank you. A little sparkling water and wine. I wanted to check in one last time before I ended this video. Um, I didn't really film a lot at my neighbor's house. It was super fun. The food she made was so good. We hung out, watched a movie. 
The movie itself was not that good, but it was a really enjoyable time regardless. I'm back at home now and it's pretty late and I'm still working on this video, but I'm on a roll. So I'll probably go to bed in like the next hour and a half. I didn't snack as much today as I usually do because I stayed pretty full from the meals that I did eat. However, before I go to bed, I usually do eat some kind of a snack because I don't know, I'm often really hungry and I can't really fall asleep if I'm hungry. I thought about making ramen, but I didn't want to eat something really salty right before I lay down because it gives me heartburn and it just makes me feel dehydrated while I'm sleeping. So I'm eating some more of my celery and then I'm also going to take my vitamins. I either do this in the morning or before I go to bed and these kind of tend to vary. Also drinking some tea. Other than that, I don't really have too much to add except, um, yeah, this video wasn't planned. It was spontaneous, so it was a pretty accurate reflection of meals that I create from what I have in my fridge. Obviously, we have a lot of things in our fridge, but we also keep a lot of our leftovers in large containers, so I think it appeared as more than it was. And there were like a lot of condiments in the fridge that usually are on the side. I don't know. What am I talking about? Okay. I do want to say a couple things about my diet, which are I am still trying pretty hard to lower and limit my sugar intake. Um, I am obviously eating a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, which also contain sugar, but I'm trying not to eat too many sweets aside from that. I did a very strict like sugar cleanse and now I'm trying to find a, a balance, which is really difficult, but I feel like sugar exacerbates skin conditions that I have, so I'm trying to just really eat it in moderation. I feel like I did a really good job of drinking a ton of water today, but didn't really film it because it's not interesting content, but I'm really trying to step it up with water and remembering to drink water throughout the day. I encourage you all to do the same. By the way, these glasses are so crooked because Nick and I have both stepped on them. If you guys like videos like this, let me know in the comments section below. If you have any similar videos you would like to request or videos pertaining to food and or recipes and or health, fitness, whatever, then drop me a comment below. If you would like to let me know how your day went or what you've been up to in your life, I'd also love to hear about that, so. Feel free to keep me in the loop. I don't know why my screen keeps going from light to dark. Thank you for watching. I will see you all very soon in my next video and I will talk to you then.